Hello everybody, what is going on? It's Jimmy here back with another video. Today, my friends, we're going to be talking about some of the best Nintendo Switch games to buy this year for 2020. Now, keep in mind, I'm not going to, like, make this just about 2020 games. This is your definitive Christmas list. Actually, I was inspired by Beat 'em Ups. Shout out to Beat 'em Ups to make my own list after seeing his list of games that he thinks you should buy. I'm only going to be focusing on the heavy hitters, the AAA games. So, and some of these games are old by now, so some of them are going to be, like, budget titles when it comes to actually picking them up. Not going to cost as much money $60 anymore, but some of them are still going to be $60, so that's kind of a warning for people out there who are trying to spend a little bit less on games. I am going to only include AAA games, just because I feel like a lot of the times buying budget games, and this isn't always true, there is some gems, but a lot of times you regret it after you do it because it's like, why did I buy it? This game isn't good, and if I spent $20 more, $30 more, I could have got a really great game, but now with the pre-owned market and everything, you guys can get some amazing games for like 30 bucks that are on this list. So I'm going to start there by saying that number one on the list, if you have not played it, is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. How have you not played this yet? If you're watching this channel, I don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> Why are you not playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? It is an absolutely amazing game. Truly, probably the best game I've ever played. I'm trying to think. The only one that I've ever played that rivals it is Mario Galaxy. And honestly, I have to say that those two games are amazing. But we'll get to Mario Galaxy a little later in the list. That's a little hint for that. The next game we will be talking about is Super Mario Odyssey. I'm going to focus on the exclusive Switch games and then we'll get the ports later. I only really like a couple ports, so I'm not going to be focusing on too many ports here. Super Mario Odyssey is an amazing platforming adventure that takes place in 3D. You get to use your hat to allow Mario to become other things around you. Really cool gameplay elements, and I've really always liked Super Mario Odyssey. I think it is a great game. I don't know if it's as great as some people think it is, controversial opinion. I think it's a good Mario game, but I am not going to sit here and tell you it's the best 3D Mario game there ever is. I don't think that's true at all. Number three, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Another controversial opinion I have on this game. I think it's really good, okay? Yes, the base game kind of sucks, but buy it with the DLC and you're in for an amazing time. Collect and trade Pokemon with your friends, embark on Dynamax and Gigantamax battles, there is crazy things to do, shiny hunting, all sorts of fun stuff, actually. I have plenty of how to find different Pokemon in the game on this channel, so if you're looking for stuff like that, it is on this channel under our Nintendo content playlist. Um, so yeah, we have that all available for you guys, and honestly, Pokemon Sword and Shield, though not being one of the strongest Pokemon games, is definitely the strongest on Switch. It is better than the Let's Go games, which is a game I would not recommend, even though it has prettier graphics, it's not better than Sword and Shield, in my opinion at least. It's not better. Okay, the next thing we're going to be talking about is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, though having a controversial story, if you like to hack and slash and don't get discouraged when the gameplay hardly ever changes throughout the entire game, this game is a game for you. And I'm not being hard on the game. The game legitimately barely changes up its formula throughout the entire game. It's not that long of a game either. Like, doing everything will run you some high amount of hours, tens of hours, but you're not going to get hundreds of hours out of this game. At least I didn't. And honestly, I did like the game, did not like the way that the story ultimately panned out. I probably will not be reviewing it on this channel like I said I was going to. It's just, I don't want to review this game for me personally. I'm just kind of disappointed the way the story goes, but I do have to recommend it for the gameplay perspective and for people who love Breath of the Wild to get that backstory in to see what happened during the Calamity Wars. I think it is a fun time. A little disappointed in the way it ultimately was executed, but I think it is a fun time. Next on our list of must-plays is... Smash Bros. Ultimate. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yes, I probably should have put it earlier on the list here. Sorry, I'm kind of going out of order. Some of these are just coming to me as I think, but The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey both stay as the top two. But from that point on the list, I guess we're just going random order now. Smash Bros. Ultimate. What an amazing addition to the Smash franchise. Truly an amazing game. If you love Smash Bros., if you even know anything about Nintendo, you probably know what you're getting into here. This is an amazing game, and honestly, I highly recommend it to anyone who has not played a Smash Bros. game. It is a great game to actually join in the series. It has every single game, every single map, every single person that's ever played in the Smash Bros. universe. Not every single game. Like, it doesn't contain other games, but I'm saying every single game mode and stuff like that. It has every single thing, right? And that's why it is the ultimate Super Smash Brothers experience and I'd recommend it to anyone. It's a great game to play multiplayer too. Next we are going to move on to Animal Crossing 
New Horizons, which I think is the best Animal Crossing game, as a lot of people do, considering the fact how it blew up in sales and it did great. Let's do a round of applause for Nintendo, how great those sales were for Animal Crossing. Cannot believe it sold 20-some million in a matter of months. That's absolutely amazing. Now let's get on to ports and honorable mentions. Honorable mentions, The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, Fire Emblem, Three Houses, Hyrule Warriors, Definitive Edition, Fire Emblem Warriors, Okay, now for ports. This is our last section here. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I did not include Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on this list because I feel like it is not really a game that you need to play 100%. Though I did like my adventure with it, it is very hard to follow along with the story sometimes. And sometimes you don't know where you're going. You'll aimlessly walk around for like two hours to try to figure it out. That happened to me a lot. And I was even following the minimap. The minimap is so flawed in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It isn't even funny. But Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is literally almost a perfect game. Literally probably the best game I played all 2020. I played the Definitive Edition, I picked it up, and I was shocked at how amazing it is. One of the best games I've ever played. It is up there for me with some of the greatest games of all time. It would definitely crack my top 10, maybe even crack my top 5. I don't know, I haven't sat there and put together a list. All I tell you guys, Mario Galaxy and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild are my top 2. Now let's move on to Mario Galaxy, okay? Super Mario 35th anniversary bring us a lot of great things, but I think the one we can all agree was the best was the Mario 3D All-Stars collection. And the Mario 3D All-Stars collection contains three amazing games. Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. This collection will guarantee to have you playing for countless hours, probably honestly up to 100 or so if you just want to keep going through those levels and having a lot of fun with it. It does run great. The stability issues and different problems that were with the game have been fixed. They are all emulated, so that's one thing to uh, keep track of if that bothers you or not. It doesn't bother me, but I know some people it does. They are all emulated. So, but honestly, they all ran great. I beat them all. I was really happy with them all. I still owe you guys a Mario 64 and Galaxy and Sunshine like review pack for all of them. I will probably get to it. Super Mario U Deluxe. Now, I know everyone says this is the weakest 2D Mario game they've probably ever made. And yes, I agree with that, but there's some charm about a 2D Mario game. And this game does not lose that. It is fun. It is addicting. You will die a lot unless you're experienced. And I think that the difficulty towards the end, though it ramps up pretty high, is still fun and still an enjoyable time. And honestly, I would recommend it to anyone who has not played it. When it comes to ports, Nintendo has what I like to call port power. <laughs> so let's get started with the ports here. Okay, so the first port I'm going to start with is the actual best-selling game on the Nintendo Switch. It is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This is a great game to play, especially if you have siblings or friends over all the time, similar to Smash Bros. scenario. It is a lot of fun to play with other people, and honestly, I think it is a great time. Though I kind of wish we would have got Mario Kart 9 by now, a man can only dream. Hopefully we do get it on Switch. There is no guarantee that we do get it on Switch, though, but I'm just really really hoping that we ultimately do get it on switch because honestly we need a new mario kart but honestly this game is great in the meantime they redid some of the graphics it looks super sparkly super shiny and honestly i think it looks amazing running off the little switch it runs at 1080p and it looks beautiful honestly i really really like this game I really think that this is probably the best done port on Switch. I don't think it's the best port in terms of gameplay, but I think it is the best looking and just overall most quality feeling port that is on the Nintendo Switch. Really happy with this port. And honestly, it's just a great time. These are my thoughts for Holiday 2020. If I left your favorite game off the list, let me know down below what it was, and I will make a part two to this list if you guys want more holiday games that I think are a definitive list for Christmas 2020. Now, these are just my thoughts on the whole situation. You may have completely different thoughts and opinions on me, and that's absolutely fine. I don't care, and I'd like to hear your opinions on what they are. Everything's peace and positivity around here. If you have a totally different list than me, I want to hear it and everything else. And as always, Jimmy out of here. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Jimmy out of here.